Oh, hello everyone. Hello from me and my pony. <laughs> Listen, this is quite an exaggeration, but I've essentially been spending my entire life not knowing how to do a slicked back pony and I suffer from like insane baby hairs, okay? These are my baby hairs. I don't know what to say about this, but they have just been the bane of my existence for my entire life. Every time I'm trying to do a pony and an updo, I had some tragic times back in high school, things that I thought was cool. I used to wear a headband like right here to try and contain my baby hairs and it's just, listen. It's been a rough go with the ponies, but my good people, I have finally figured out a routine to achieve, I'm gonna call it the rich pony, a rich slicked pony. You know when you see someone who they just, like the Kardashians, when they just have that perfectly slicked, coiffed pony and you're like, God, you just look rich. That's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. We're giving you a rich pony, the slicked pony, how to tame these hairs and get a good looking pony, okay? That's what we're doing. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. Obviously, this is catered towards my hair type. I have pretty limp, boring, straight hair. And so this is the routine that's worked for me. If you guys have any particular routines or videos that you follow when it comes to slick ponies, let us know in the comments down below. Let us know any products or tricks and tips you have. This is just a recent little formula that I have found for myself and I'm going to share it with you today. So uh, my hair is pretty dirty. I usually do a pony on like a third or fourth day hair. That's kind of my little hair routine. It's a lot easier to do on dirty hair. It holds a lot better. It's kind of got some natural oils and grease in there. You can do this with clean hair. You'll probably just have to wet it a lot more and maybe use a bit more product. So I'm going to quickly go through the products that I have here today. I'm using two hair brushes. Okay. This is my Dyson hairbrush. This is like a regular good old hairbrush. I'm going to be using that to detangle, but then a very important key product for achieving that very, very, oh my God, like look at that. The slicked, rich hair look is a boar hair brush, okay? This is from Moroccan Oil. I bought this at, I don't know, like Sally Beauty. So it's just gonna really help you get that very, very slicked, feeling. There are many options that exist. If you have a partner or a husband or a boyfriend who has a beard, they will most likely have a boar hair brush. Dan tells me that that's a very common thing with bearded and male individuals. So a boar hair brush, very, very key. You're going to need a hairspray, whatever hold you want. I just love the Living Proof Flex hairspray. That's the one I use. And then a pomade, a clear pomade. This one is from a brand called Kuhn. J.M. Keen 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 says distilled for men, but I don't care who it's for. I'm using it today. Uh, it smells so good. It smells like the cologne like that I want Dan to have. Mm, smells so good. Uh, I use the clear pomade. I used to have like a white paste, like a hold, a molding paste or something, uh, but I kept getting like white bits in my hair. So that's why I'm using the clear pomade. So that's all we need today. Plus your scrunchie. I don't know how to do the bungee ponytail clippity thing on myself. If you know how to do that, God bless you. I'm also on like a hair regrowth plan. So I'm using a scrunchie. It doesn't hold as much as I would like it to. You can use a smaller, you know what? Maybe we will. You can use a scrunchie or you can use a little elastic, kind of whatever floats your boat. I might use a little elastic. Armin, don't yell at me. These little things, I bought these at Sephora. They're the little, the little elastics. Now these do tug my hair and cause a lot of breakage, which is why I use a scrunchie, but they just hold it so much better. And until I learn how to do a bungee ponytail, that's the next tutorial, guys. I'm putting it out into the universe. I'm gonna learn how to do a bungee hair pony and I will and I will show you how to do it once I figure it out. So there's some little elastics or scrunchie. That's everything you need. Let's do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my regular brush and I'm going to brush out my hair, make sure I have ugh, no knots. Okay, we're just gonna run through it. I'm brushing it into the direction that I want it in. And I'm just gonna do a whole brush through like that. Then, normally I'd be doing this in my bathroom, so I would have a sink available to me. But right now I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna... Um, okay. I'm just gonna... Oh God, oh God, oh God, that's so scary. I'm gonna pour <laughs> water into my hair. So normally I would just take my hands, run it under the sink, and then just... Squish it back. Okay, so we've got a little bit of wetness. Good. Now we're gonna take a little bit of the pomade. I'm just gonna take a fingerful, like this much, a little fingerful, and I'm gonna rub that between the tops of my fingers, get it all nice and gritty in there, and then I'm gonna use this and press it into my baby hairs. 
really slick those back. I'm working all that product in there. I know a lot of people, like I used to do this too, um, a lot of people will take eyeshadow and like blend it in to fill in these gaps, but I've just accepted that I'm balding. I have large gaps, like a middle-aged man on my head, and you know, if I was Jeffree Star, I'd be getting a hair transplant, but here we are. <laughs> So I'm just mucking that all through, getting all the product nice and in there. And then I'm gonna take the hairspray as well and just go lightly over this. We're gonna use more hairspray later, but I'm just really getting all the product in there and kind of like molding it into the shape that we want before we brush it, just for ease. Then I'm gonna take the regular hairbrush and I'm going to brush my ponytail kind of into the place that I want it. I kind of like to do a, a pony like at the middle of the back of my head. I find that that's where it's the most flattering for me, I guess, like there. And this is where I struggle. This is where it would be so handy to just have a hairstylist doing your hair every day because when I grab my pony, it just takes me so many tries to do this. <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? And I'm just gonna hold that. And here is where like you just see these little lumps, you know what I mean? And you want them to lay flat. And that's where the boar hair brush comes in. So I'm gonna take the boar hair brush and to the best of my abilities, I, again, doing this on myself, I always have the little lumps there, but the boar hair brush will just really help to, to flatten that to your head. And I try holding it as tight as I can to keep those in there as I go around. We're almost there, almost there. I need to do like one more on this side. But the boar hair bush just really slicks the hairs back. But that's about as good as we're gonna get. So now I'm gonna take my elastics and I'm gonna make Arm and A weep arms, I'm so sorry. And we're gonna pull that nice and taut. If you wanna have like extra measures, you can go over top of it with your regular elastic too. I usually double up anyway. I'm just gonna put my scrunchie in there and then I pull it tight. This is so bad for your hair and it causes so much breakage to pull it tight, but I'm only human. Okay, so now what I do is take more hairspray and I'm just gonna load this up and I'm just gonna run my hand across it as we go. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you wanted to give your pony a little bit more volume, you can take your boar hair brush and just kind of back comb the back of the pony, just to give it a little bit more oomph. You can curl it if you wanted to, just to give it a little bit more life. Or you can have it long and slick if you want, whatever you want. I usually like my pony to have a little bit more life to it. And that, my friends, is it. This is the, the rich, slicked pony tutorial. These are the products that I have been using as of late to achieve this slickness. Armine, thank you so much for, for showing me the ropes. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. But this is what I've been doing for my pony, just to give it that very, very slicked, rich look. No more baby hairs here, people. No more flyaways. We are slicked and licked in 2020. <laughs> Oh, wow, how was that for a slogan? Oh my God. If you guys liked this tutorial, definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And hopefully the next time I do another pony tutorial will be when I learn how to do the bungee pony. And if you don't know how to do that, look it up. It's incredible and it is better for your hair and it holds your hair much more tight in a pony. Uh, so that's my tutorial, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Any tips and tricks, if you have any, thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!